If you've been approved to be a signatory or editor, you can make edits to a DMR by going through the following steps. First, select your permit ID and make sure to click Update. Then use the search criteria, Ready for Data Entry, and click Search to return all blank, unedited DMRs. Now click Go and you'll be taken to the actual form. At the top, you'll see general information, and you can click the Collapse Header button to give you more room for actual editing. You can enter information in any blank space, so we'll start by entering some parameter values. You'll notice that units, frequency analysis, and sample type should be pre-populated with values that have been spelled out in your permit. If this isn't the case, you can change the values. If you change the units, this is going to result in a soft error when you save the DMR, and we'll talk about how to address this in a moment. The next place to enter information are the no data or NODI fields. Now, if you have parameter values to enter, you wouldn't also enter a NODI code because you can't both enter data and not enter data at the same time. But if you did this accidentally, a hard error would be produced when you save the form, and you'd need to make the correction before the form could be validated. If you do need to enter NODI codes, there are three ways to go about it. Here you have the Form NODI dropdown, which you could use to apply a particular NODI code to the entire form. If you only need to apply a code to a particular line, then you can move here to the left and choose the code from this drop-down menu. You can also apply a NODI code to an individual cell. Now, as you're entering information, it's very important that you save frequently. The NetDMR application runs on a 30-minute countdown, after which it will terminate your session, and you'll lose any changes that you haven't saved. So as you're working and frequently clicking Save and Continue, your form status will change to NetDMR Validation Errors. This is simply because you haven't finished yet and have blank fields. The application sees these blanks and interprets them as errors. They're shaded pink and have a red exclamation mark. Down at the bottom, you can see each error that needs to be addressed. You could have both hard and soft errors. Hard errors have to be corrected on the form or the form won't validate. To take care of a soft error, you simply need to acknowledge it by clicking the checkbox. You might have a soft error if a parameter value exceeded your permitted limit or if you selected different units, as we mentioned earlier. If you chose a NODI code of 8, meaning that your particular reason for having no discharge data wasn't listed, here in the comments box is where you need to explain what your unique scenario was. If you currently have any submittals which are required with your paper DMR, like an Operating Monitoring Report, or OMR, you're required to also submit this here as an attachment through the NetDMR system. NetDMR will accept common file types such as Word docs, Excel spreadsheets, or images, but there are a couple of requirements that have to be met for any attachments. The file size may not exceed 20 megabytes, and there can be no spaces in the file name. Once all parameters have been entered, and all hard and soft errors have been addressed, comments are filled out, and attachments are selected, the DMR is ready to be signed and submitted by your signatory.